very friendly. <laughs> uh, so I'm Ben Weil. I'm a professor of building science in the uh, it's, well, it's in the de Department of Environmental Conservation, but there's a building and construction technology program. <laughs> um, and um, and I focus mainly on energy efficiency. Anyway, I, I, like, I like renewables and sustainability and stuff like that. Um, so the issue that that brings me to this is that if you look at the kind of the global energy picture, a really big portion of it has to do with food systems, of which the part where you're actually growing the food is not very much. Right? It's the food storage, it's the food processing, it's the, if you're looking at carbon emissions or carbon equivalent emissions, so methane as well, it's not just cow burps, it's, it's all the decomposition of organic matter from food waste. So because I'm basically a sustainability oriented guy, there's a whole lot of the climate system that's connected to agriculture in some way. Um, and so that's that's kind of what I'm interested in about it. So for instance, um, you know, it's actually probably cheaper to grow a lot of food down where the sun is shining and it's not very cold. Here we have greenhouses and they're going up like crazy in this area because there's market for high value crops. But the energy cost of growing those crops is in, is insane. So the thing the, I know that you guys started working with Mike Kosmerski on these solar collectors, and we're going to try and use the greenhouse here and, and figure out, at least in theory, obviously it's this time of year and it's not February, <laughs> but you know, how can we maintain a, a good temperature for the crops that you want to grow inside the greenhouse without using fuels? Um, so that, it, the principles involved with that are the same as the principles involved with making a building comfortable for humans year-round without using fuels. It's, you know, it's the same basic knowledge, but we're applying it to making plants comfortable. So, so another big cost is refrigeration. Up here, we actually, it actually gets cold a lot, you know? But surprisingly, not cold enough to remove all the heat of respiration from a lot of vegetables that you're storing even in the winter. And so, or at least not in the systems that we have. So we end up spending electricity to cool off uh, refrigerated spaces when it's pretty cold outside. So I worked with a, a grad student. Are they going to meet me? Because he's uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, the guy, the guy here, we worked together. And we figured out a way to use outside air and added humidity to make the plants happen, or the, the stored vegetables happen. Um, without the use of very much electricity, you still fan. So those are the kind of solutions that I'm always looking for. Um, I don't know, did I get something unique about me? Probably. Yeah. <laughs>